Why are we all so stressed out? Are people these days under more stress than they were in previous decades or in previous generations? Or is that just one of our current myths? There's certainly plenty around to make us stressed. If we look at the world political situation, at the conflicts that are going on around the world, if we consider issues such as climate change, if we think of the financial stress that many people seem to be under these days. But stress has become one of those coverall terms that describes anything from a state of minor irritation to a major psychological disorder, such as post-traumatic stress disorder. The fact that people now talk more about stress or describe more states and more circumstances as stressful doesn't necessarily mean that people in today's society experience any higher level of stress than in previous decades or generations. It's difficult to imagine that people living through the Great Depression or through either of the world wars actually experienced less stress than we do, or at least that they were exposed to less significant stressors. Were they less sensitive to these stressors than we would be? It's an impression, and an impression only, that it requires a lower level of stimulus to provoke in us a stressful reaction than it did in earlier eras. Rather than our lives being more stressful, is it possible that our stress threshold is significantly lower? We're easily pushed over the edge. Over the edge, edginess. These terms seem to apply to modern society. People appear to be living permanently on the edge. The camel's back is permanently only one straw short of a full load. How else can we account for phenomena such as road rage or supermarket rage or uh, Facebook rage or every other kind of rage? We are surely the first generation to even have terms for these phenomena. We're probably the first generation for whom these are actually recognisable phenomena. Even when not quite tumbling over the edge into rage, people still seem to live in a constant state of irritability. This is often accompanied by a state of righteous indignation. That person actually jumped the queue. This is clearly a fundamental violation of my human rights. Perhaps this concept of rights has something to do with it as well. Human rights, children's rights, women's rights, workers' rights, animals' rights, my rights. It seems that we've lost our way, lost our sense of proportion. Because everything matters, nothing really matters. We tend to experience the same level of righteous indignation when someone steals our parking spot as when our country invades another. Perhaps even more. Perhaps we feel its impact more immediately. Because small irritations propel us immediately into a high state of stress, we have no mechanism for dealing with real stressors. We spend so much time defending our right to this and our right to that. Everything is so important that we don't recognize something of real importance when it stares us in the face. We're in such a permanent state of righteous indignation that we've forgotten concepts such as patience, tolerance and understanding. To err, once upon a time, was human. Now, to err is to be attacked with a baseball bat on the highway.